Ah, a peaceful picnic in the park, a hike in the woods, a relaxing swim in the sea. You wouldn't expect unseen dangers to be lurking around every corner, but you might want to keep an eye out for these nasty little critters and never ever touch them. Number 1. Geography Cone No, I'm not talking about something that grows on a tree. It's a snail. The sophisticated pattern of its shell is valuable among collectors. But if you pick one up, you could find yourself being pierced with a life-threateningly toxic harpoon-like tooth that the snail shoots out in the blink of an eye. It's usually fish that gets paralyzed by this sting so that the snail can have some lunch. But you'll need to avoid it at all costs, since an antidote for it doesn't exist. Although, some of the compounds found in that venom could potentially be used as pharmaceuticals, effective in treating pain and even accelerating recovery from nerve injury. Hmm, ironic. Number 2. Africanized bee One of the most widespread and aggressive insects in the world was actually created by humans. Originally an effort to increase honey production, this bee hybrid experiment ended up going south real quick as the insect was noted to be especially defensive. In 1957, after accidental release from a bee yard in Brazil, swarms of the Africanized hybrid spread out and crossbred with local colonies. In the late 70s, the prospect of their arrival in the US even inspired several horror movies. Also called killer bees, they have a tendency to swarm and are known to chase a perceived threat down for over one mile. Hey, don't look over your shoulder! Number 3. The Golden Poison Frog This colorful creature lives in the rainforest along Colombia's Pacific coast. For centuries, indigenous people there used this frog to hunt, lacing the tips of their arrows and blow darts in the amphibian's toxic secretions. The coating on the skin of just one frog is enough to take down 10 humans. Interestingly enough, scientists believe the frog may obtain poison by eating a certain beetle, which means you could probably safely touch one that was raised without its natural food source. But still, if you see a bright yellow frog, just don't risk it. Number 4. Kissing Bug Now don't be fooled by the name, there is nothing charming or romantic about these bloodsuckers. The kissing part comes from the fact that they tend to feast on the area around the mouth. When the odors and heat from a sleeping person's body guide this nasty little vampire to its midnight snack. Some people have a pretty bad reaction to the insect saliva, but several cases result in a person developing a serious condition called Chagas disease. This critter that's pretty widespread in both North and South America has been nicknamed the assassin bug if that drives the point home for you. Number 5. Pus Moth This tiny winged creature is generally found on trees and plants in Florida and North Carolina. At first glance, you might be thinking, eh, what's so scary about this fluffy little cutie? But beware, that fluff is actually a collection of hairs that can be pretty irritating if you touch them. Add to that the fact that they cover extremely poisonous spines, and you've got yourself one dangerous little moth. Don Hall, an entomologist at the University of Florida, has this to say. The pain immediately and rapidly gets worse after being stung and can even make your bones hurt. Yow! Number 6. Brazilian Wandering Spider You know that typical situation where someone is afraid of something small, like a mouse or insect, and their friend tries to calm them down by saying, it's more scared of you than you are of it? Well, that rule doesn't apply to this spider. Sure, it might be afraid of you, but it'll go into defense attack mode if it feels threatened. In that case, it'll raise its four front legs in what looks like a come at me bro type of pose. That lack of fear and readiness to attack, combined with its wandering nature, is what makes this arachnid so dangerous. In search for shelter during the daytime, they can crawl into clothes, boots, plants, and boxes. Oh yeah, and you can't forget about that venom. It can cause troubles breathing and loss of muscle control. There's no shame in fearing what's been dubbed the world's deadliest spider. You still having fun? Number 7. TT Fly This winged beast is about the same size as the common housefly, only its bite can be fatal. 
Native to Africa, mostly in the sub-Saharan parts of the continent, the tsetse fly is most infamous not only for its painful bite, but also because of the disease it carries. This so-called sleeping sickness disrupts a person's sleep-wake cycle and comes with a whole slew of symptoms that can be life-threatening if left untreated. Number 8. Japanese Giant Hornet Meet the largest hornet species in the world. Reaching about 2 inches in length, this flying terror feeds on other insects, like honeybees, other hornets, and praying mantises. As for the venom in its sting, it attacks the nervous system, damages tissues, and may induce an allergic reaction. Unlike most bee and wasp species, these gargantuan hornets don't lose their stingers during an attack, meaning they can sting their victim repeatedly. Eh, I'd rather not imagine that. Number 9. Blue-ringed octopus The psychedelic coloring of this itty-bitty Pacific Ocean dweller can show how scared or disturbed the animal is by turning bright yellow with flashingly blue rings. That's a warning sign that you or a predator should keep your fins off and swim in the opposite direction. Although their bite is often painless, the powerful neurotoxin in it is 1,200 times more toxic than cyanide. While it's only about 5 to 8 inches long, one blue-ringed octopus can take down 26 adult humans within minutes making it one of the world's most venomous marine creatures. Number 10. The Indian Red Scorpion Native to Nepal, Pakistan, and obviously India, the Indian Red Scorpion is one of the most feared arachnids on the planet. What's worse, they like to live near people. And like any other scorpion species, it hunts at night, so most encounters with humans happen at this time. It's usually an accidental rendezvous, since the scorpion can creep into a bed or fall from a ceiling. Nonetheless, if a person happens to roll over or step on it, this creepy crawly will see it as a blatant attack and answer accordingly with that deadly stinger. Sweet dreams! Number 11. Tarantula hawk. It's not a bird or a spider. It's a wasp that hunts the latter. Did you catch that last bit? It's a wasp that preys on tarantulas. But it doesn't eat its furry eight-leg victim. Now, what it does is much more sinister. A female wasp uses its sting to paralyze a tarantula before dragging it off to a special nest where it lays a single egg into the spider's abdomen. And then, well, I'm sure you get it. The larva feeds on the spider until it's reached maturity and uh, moves out of its temporary housing. And if you're not a big fan of tarantulas to begin with, then maybe you'll pity them once you find out how painful this wasp's sting really is. Entomologist Dr. Justin Schmidt was curious enough to find out for us all, so big thanks to him. In 1983, he developed the Schmidt Sting Pain Index. Yeah, to measure the painfulness of different stingers. He described the sting of a tarantula hawk as causing, quote, immediate excruciating pain that simply shuts down one's ability to do anything except perhaps scream." End quote. <laughs> the tarantula hawk wasp nearly reached the top of the list, coming second only to the infamous number 12, bullet ant. It's the largest of all ants in the world, with a bite that feels like a bullet piercing the skin, hence the name. Dr. Schmidt described the sensation as waves of burning, throbbing, all-consuming pain that continues unabated for up to 24 hours. That probably explains why it's known to its native Nicaragua and Paraguay as the 24-hour ant. Some local tribes even use bullet ants in a warrior initiation ritual. Hey, I did it so you have to also. Long and disturbing story short, it includes wearing a pair of leaf gloves with hundreds of these ants woven into them. Now, don't want to be a warrior that bad. Thanks anyways, but mm, count me out. So, can you add any more tiny terrorizers to the list? Let everybody know down in the comments. And if you learned something new today, then give this video a like and share it with your friends. But hey, don't go anywhere just yet. We have over 2,000 cool videos for you to check out. All you have to do is pick the left or right video, click on it, and enjoy. Stay on the bright side of life.